So, yeah, um, first couple questions for you guys. How many people here have made a circuit board? Nice. How many people have messed up a circuit board? Sweet. Me too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is going to be basically me showing all my mistakes, and I'll try to, you know, not further cement my imposter syndrome here. But I want to, you know, show that everyone makes mistakes, and... Hopefully you guys can learn something from mine and not make the same ones. So my most recent giant flub was <laughs> the, the DEF CON badge this year. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you who went to DEF CON, I'm sure you saw signs and everyone told you not to do certain things with your badge because it will blow up. So <laughs> there was, yeah. Um, the audio amplifier on it was very fragile. It was a tiny thing. It's 1.5 millimeters square with nine pins underneath it, or nine, uh, it was a BGA. And it had a ten tendency to destroy itself. And we found this out way too late. So this is one of the, the big lessons with all of these things I'm going to show you is time. Time is your enemy. <laughs> And when you don't have enough of it, bad things happen. So with all chip shortages and everything that's been happening in the last couple years, we made prototypes and they worked great and then things changed and we couldn't get those chips and then the way we were gonna use the badge changed. So initially we were going to use the audio cable as a lanyard, that was the plan. And so the initial prototype worked that way and everything was great and we decided not to do that anymore. It wasn't strong enough to hold up the badge, right? And it would fall off, and so we're like, okay, we're not gonna do that. And then we ended up not being able to get the amplifier we were going to use. And so, last minute change, re-spin the board, ran a prototype, and it worked fine. Everything was great. Except I didn't test plugging the lanyard in to itself. So, this is another really big lesson, is regression testing, right? Make sure you test everything, everything that worked on the first one, make sure the second one does it too, because you run into problems like this. And so you may have seen things like this. We put stickers on the bags for the badges. We had instructions in the badge the first time you turned it on, do not do this stuff. We had signs made that were all over the registration area to not, don't do these things because your badge will break, right? And like, okay, cool, right? We got, we got it solved, and a few people will, you know, make this mistake, but it'll be fine. And then badges started coming in broken, like a lot of them. And so we, we realized a couple things. One, when these broke on my test bench, right, they looked like the image on the left. The board was a little scorched, right? A little bit of burn marks. I could replace the chip, it was fine. What we ended up happening is people didn't know what was going on. Smoke's coming out of their badge and they just said, oh, it's smoking. Not, not turn it off, don't unplug things. And so that's what happens. <laughs> and that is burned through traces halfway through the board. We saw some crazy things. And so that is not repairable. You can't just put a new chip on there. And so we ended up having to come up with a workaround people, way people could solder some bridges and cut some things and make it work. Um, and the other thing we found out was that not many people were actually creating loops with the audio cable. There was another problem, one that we didn't know about, and it was this. The lanyard was the perfect size to wrap around that audio jack and short it out. Yeah. And we didn't see the lanyards until we got on site. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we had this. And people, you know, just tape over that and don't make a loop and you'll be fine, mostly. <laughs> so, yeah, many lessons were learned on that badge of what not to do. Um, so, as a 
another entry in the not enough time category. I'm gonna show you guys a picture that has not been public before. This was one of our plans. Yeah. So if any of you played the challenge with the phones, this was actually our initial plan. We, I 3D printed a custom acoustic coupler for this and in the end, we couldn't make it work because the little speakers were so tinny and they would vibrate at random frequencies depending on how precisely they were placed in there and the cover was placed on it that we couldn't make it reliable enough to work. And so we ended up changing things last minute with the software to make it so you just entered in numbers on the badge. But this was the plan. So last week um, was St. Con, another conference I do the badge for, and this one was also very last minute, and we ran into some interesting problems, and you're gonna love this. The lanyards did stuff again. <laughs> so, yeah, when, here on the right side, um, St. Con does a thing called mini badges. They're kind of like SAOs. And we do these little extender boards on the badge. And they're always a little bit different design, right? Sometimes they're hanging off the bottom. This time we did them off the side. And the lanyards are totally fine with all the prototypes and everything because, well, I'm not sticking the lanyard on the, <laughs> on the connections. But this is what happened. And so we had a few issues not the least of which is that is shorting battery voltage to a 3.3 volt I2C connection. And right there in the middle of the board is a light sensor that runs on I2C. It doesn't like <laughs> battery voltage. <laughs> so I ended up coming up with a firmware hack during the middle of the conference to ignore the light sensor and I was reflashing a dozen or so badges of people that had shorted theirs out and it didn't work anymore. The other fun thing, these boards were half thickness, they were 0.8 millimeters. And we did that because the whole plan was, you know, it's a clue notebook type look and so we wanted the thin boards and everything. Well, they're a little more fragile. And someone managed to just rip their entire side piece off their board. Just ripped it right off. It was super impressive. <laughs> so along with the, the more fragile uh, thin circuit boards, I learned some other lessons. This is one of the connections for down here, right here. This pen over here. And so I had a couple people mess up soldering their little header onto that port to the point where they broke this via. And this red trace is the 3.3 volts from the microcontroller and everything coming through here, and then from there it branches off up into the LEDs and everything else that needs power. And so they just broke that. So no connection for power up to the rest of the board, so that was fun to fix. So lesson learned here, don't use a via like this Right? If this is something that people are going to touch, run the connections to a separate via, stub it off for this. Anything that people can break, they will. Similar issue up on the top side, this ground via happens to be the one that connects to that light sensor in the middle. And so someone ripped this one right off and no more power. So, yeah, super great. <laughs> So, last year's DEF CON badge, yeah, that one was fun. Um, we had some weird issues with it. The, the little connectors where you connect boards together, I got the first panel from the assembly house, and you can kind of see it here. These connectors are hanging off the edge of the board. Just a little, but enough that they're hanging down. Luckily, the connectors had enough play that it was okay, but this was really surprising because followed the data sheet perfectly, right? They should have been where they were, where they should have been. The, the little side pieces here, they, the edge of the connector got pushed off the edge of the board just a little by the connections in the back. So even though 
it was placed properly by the pick and place right where it should be, the surface tension of the connections on the back of the connector just pushed it off the edge of the board just a little. And there was nothing I could do at that point, right? And the assembly house had 10,000 plus boards and <laughs> there's no fixing that. Another issue we had with those, for anyone who took theirs apart, there are these little spring pins that connected the top and bottom boards. And as you can see up at the top, those ones are shorter. So this was shipping damage. These spring pins were four millimeters tall and we needed it, the distance between the boards was like 3.7 millimeters. Like it was super close and when they're squished like that, they don't work. So we hand fixed a lot of those um, for the first package of them that came. And then our assembly house came up with a super great solution. These were what the panels looked like. And these are little rubber feet, little sticky ones. And so they would stick those on the, the little pieces in between all the boards and just like 20 of those on each panel so that they would be separated from each other in the box so that they would not come damaged. This is crazy and lots of extra work. Um, Car Hacking Village badge from a few years ago. This one was a lot of fun. So with this one, what we, had, we ended up doing was getting a pick and place machine ourselves and assembling them ourselves because we're insane. And <laughs> essentially assembly was too expensive to fit the budget and we decided we could do it because it was only, you know, like 250 of them. It wasn't a crazy number. And we're like, okay, we have barely enough time to get these out before DEF CON and everything. And the panels showed up like this. They, they put white silk screen on those boards. And so I, you know, talked to the, the board house, I'm like, what is the deal? And they're like, oh my gosh, um, can you use them like that? <laughs> no, no, I can't. So this was three weeks before DEF CON. So they remade them and a week and a half later we got them and we did, we assembled 250 of these in a weekend so that we could get them shipped out to people before DEF CON started. It was insane. 2019 St. Con badge, this may be my favorite badge that I've ever made. It was awesome and insane. And one of the issues we had was uh, miscommunication with the assembly house uh, in China. And these LEDs got put on backwards. I don't know how many of them they put on backwards, but I do know it caused a huge delay and to their credit, they flipped them. Um, once again, don't know how many. I hope it wasn't all of them. But these boards showed up the morning of the conference. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a horrible, horrible day. Um, and we ran into some other issues. So those boards are meant to connect to each other on the side. Um, you can kind of see the little side connectors on there and the top panels for doing assembly, they put these rails on them and then you've got these little mouse bites sticking out the side. Well, you get two boards side by side and now there's a gap. And so the connections were kind of flaky and we talked about it and decided we don't have enough time to fix it. So that's how it is. And it worked okay, but yeah, not, not the greatest thing ever. So take that into account if you're making boards with mouse bites that need to fit together. You know, push them into the board a little or sand them off if you're not doing too many of them. <laughs> so this was DC801. I don't even remember what DEF CON 23, I think. And I helped design this badge. Uh, my buddy Decaf. I had helped him with uh, B-Sides and Open West badge earlier that year and he comes to me and he's like, hey, we need to make this badge for DEF CON. It's in a month. Can you help me? <laughs> and so I very quickly threw together a board design and we sent it off to be assembled. We didn't get a prototype. We didn't do anything because there was zero time. 
And they came back, and there was a problem. And we put, we cut traces and put a couple bodge wires on a few hundred of these. <laughs> so that was a fun weekend. So lessons learned. Time. Time is everything. Okay? It can be amazing. It can kill you. Um, things will go wrong. They just will. You need a backup plan. Lanyards, chaotic evil. It just, <laughs> you can't plan for that. Um, yeah, people will break badges in ways you didn't even know they could be broken. And then test and test and test, please. <laughs> and that's what I've got. Thank <laughs> you.